If you clicked on this video because you're busy, I don't want to waste your time. So instead, I want to share with you, as someone who reads over 100 books a year, some small thoughts on time, reading, and living a more meaningful life in the hopes that you, regardless of your busyness in this season of life, will be able to read more. So when it comes to time, and schedules more specifically, they're very similar to budgets. With a budget, you assess all that you have, all that you need, and maybe some things that you want, and then you evaluate from there. But the difference between a budget and a schedule is technically you could always make more money. You could get a different job, you could sell some things on eBay, you can make more money, but you can't make more time. Now, I'm sure some people could say, oh, well, theoretically or hypothetically, if you know, the Earth moved further away from the sun in 100 million years, we could see more time throughout a day. And that, while that might possibly be true, I don't care. Right now, we have 24 hours in a day. That's it. So regardless of the reason you are wanting to read, whether it's to entertain yourself, to learn more, to impress super hot babes like I do, what we have to do is cut things from our schedule. So we need to assess all that we have, knowing that we can't make more time. We only have 24 hours, and then we need to cut things and replace that with reading. Tim Ferriss, American entrepreneur and writer, encourages people to focus on being productive instead of busy. When I assess my schedule, when I actually sit down and write every single thing that I am doing throughout the day in a 24 hour period, I am shocked by how much free time I have. Or not necessarily free time, but how much time I spend doing things I do not want to do. So when I look at that, I'm able to go, oh cool, these are the things that I wanna cut and replace with things that I'd rather do, like reading. One such thing that I cut from my life was social media in the evening. It wasn't productive, it wasn't something that I wanted to do, it was just distracting, it was just kind of unwinding, but it wasn't really rejuvenating or restful. It was detracting from things that I would have rather been doing. Instead of being caught up in another random Reddit thread, I would have much preferred reading a book. Now, I'm not a willpower machine that can just say no to social medias or the internet, especially late at night when I'm tired. So instead, to make it easy for myself, after a certain point in the evening, usually around 9 or 9.30, I'll plug my phone into a charger, hit do not disturb, set an alarm for the next morning, and just leave my phone for the rest of the night. That time afterwards is dedicated to reading and doing things that I would rather do in the evening. Instead of just mindlessly scrolling through things that aren't important, I'm not going to remember, or might give me a light chuckle, I would much rather spend that time unwinding with a good book. Now that might not work for you. That might not be the appropriate time. That might not be the appropriate method. So you're going to need to figure out what works for you. You're going to need to remember these three things. One, you only have so much time. That's it. So sit down over the course of a day and actually document every single thing you do. You will be very surprised by how much time you spend doing things you don't want to do. That doesn't mean you need to be a productivity monster, but you're going to want to live a meaningful life. So by assessing what it is that you're actually doing, you'll be able to say, oh, cool, here are things that I don't want to do, or here are times it would be a great time to sit down with a nice book and read. You only have so much time. But if you don't think that 24 hours is a long period of time, if you feel like you still have so much that you need to accomplish, Here's an exercise to prove to you just how long 24 hours is. Sit and do nothing. It was Blaise Pascal who said, all humanity's problems stem from man's inability to sit quietly in a room alone. Time is a powerful thing, and we're often distracting ourselves from that reality instead of leaning into meaningful experiences. There are many things that are vying for our attention, but ultimately we will do what we want, which is the second thing I want you to recognize. You'll do what you want to do. Now you might say, I want to read, but I'm still doing all of these other things. But ultimately those desires for those other things that you're doing will be greater than your desire to read. But now that's okay. 
Okay, we don't need to lie to ourselves. What we are doing is the things that we ultimately want to do that are in our own self-interest. So what you'll have to do, the third thing I want you to recognize is that you need to make reading easier. For me personally, I put my phone away. I'm not distracted by even the possibility of doing other things because I'm making it easy for me. Because I have made the decision that I am going to want to read. If you have a busy schedule, but you still want to read, I'm happy for you. I hope that you're able to assess your schedule, a 24 hour period, and figure out when would be a good time to read. That you'll be able to cut things out and replace it with reading. That you'll cultivate a stronger desire to read and you might even be able to impress hot babes like I do. And that you will make it easy for yourself. If you've watched the video this far, then maybe just hit that like button. And if you're not too busy, check out another one of my videos on living a purposeful life. And uh, be sure to subscribe because I'm going to be making more videos on how we can be living purposeful lives together. Well, not together. I'm not asking you to, I'm not asking you to move in with me, but like uh, together we can both be living separate lives uh, together that are purposeful. Um, well, uh, would you look at the time? Looks like I got, I got to get going. I'm a busy guy. Uh, I've got a hot date with a hot babe. Uh, but in the meantime, I love you. And uh, in peace, uh, God bless, and I'll catch you later. I hope that, uh, hope that you're able to read more books. See ya.